Hello YouTube and welcome to my new channel, Cloud Thinking, where I discuss topics that I find interesting and are typically technology focused. My videos will range from evaluating software used for investing such as mobile apps and web services to how I perform research on different companies that I plan to invest in. If this channel gets some traffic, then I may eventually move into tech gear reviews because that is something that I really like to do as well. Uh, so anyhow, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Uh, today, I'm going to perform a quick review of the Robinhood trading app and any issues that I've found uh, throughout my use over the last month. Uh, the Robinhood trading app started, I believe, development in 2013 and was released in 2014. It really started to gain momentum in 2015 and now is a billion dollar app. Uh, it is special in that there are no commissions that you have to pay for buying and selling stocks. Uh, they actually get their money by keeping or the interest uh, off of unused cash within your account. Now, this is different than taxes. Uh, you will still have to pay any short-term and long-term gains taxes at the end of the year uh, for any profits that you may have uh, may have made. Uh, you can open an account with zero minimum investment, uh, but this is an investment uh, account, and that's not really going to do you any good. So let's jump right into the functionality a little bit. I'm um, not going to go too in detail in it. You know, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube, and this is just kind of the basics uh, of how I'm going to move forward, really. Um, so as you can see, $684 right here on my home screen. Uh, you can see a little area for articles right here. This is going to be pop-ups for your current, you know, if you made deposits or you had a dividend payout that you'll see in this area. The articles, I tend not to pay much attention to. If I see one that catches my eye, then I will go and do my own research and really dig into whether or not that article is true or not, and whether it's biased, because you know those, those articles can be dangerous when it comes to investing. So uh, always do your research. Um, as you can see, you can see the graph uh, right here. Uh, you, can, you can go through uh, your one week, month, uh, three month, one year, and all, right? Um, currently, I have not been in there three months, you can see, uh, and you'll see from my trades, uh, the first part of my trading, I was really playing around with it. This is a test account for me, and you know, I'm, I'm using this to learn. Uh, I do have a couple other uh, safer investments. Uh, I do have a 401k at my work, um, which is doing really well. Um, I also have a Roth IRA that I manage and say, you know, slightly safer situation. So if you go through, uh, you can see the settings, uh, right here. Uh, so account, uh, you can look at your account, go through, uh, and see your portfolio stocks to cash the what you can withdraw at this time uh what is instant deposits um, banking that's where you can actually link a bank account to it uh you know you can set up automatic deposits i do not have that i actually do manual deposits uh whenever i do have uh funds available um History, you can see your deposits, all of the trades. That, you know, as you can see, if I go down through here, in a month, this is a lot of different trades. I did a lot of attempts at day trading, and I was successful on many occasions. But ultimately, I did deposit $695, and I currently am sitting at $684. So I'm in the red if you if you look at how much money I've deposited as to how much, where my stock you know, actually sit at. So... Um, Again, this app, and I'll go into that in future videos. I really do. It's just, it's not meant for day trading for me. Um, and I'll go into that later. Uh, but, you know, I did make some some money off of these. Um, I'll go through the kind of the basic functionality real quick. So you got uh, your home screen will have what stocks you currently have holdings in. It'll tell you, you see 30 shares, two shares of Disney, Siri. Um, and if you open up there, then it does show you your average cost that you paid, uh, what percentage of your diversity for your portfolio is, your current return today, your total return for all your shares, um, 
and it does give news articles and that the stats open high low uh 52 week high 52 week low um your volume volume's very important for getting in and out of a trade uh, your average volume, uh, your market cap for that company, uh, its valuation, your P.E. ratio for that stock valuation. That's very important, and I can cover that in a later video uh, if requested. Uh, it's very important. There's an actual way to calculate that uh, for you to make your own decision on whether or not that stock is overvalued, undervalued, or what. And that's very important to, us, to stock trading. Uh, your dividend yield, you can see this has 4.95. That's a dividend yield percentage for what you get quarterly. Some stocks do pay monthly. Um, some stocks do pay just annually. So uh, a lot of stocks just do not pay dividends. So as you can see, it does show how, I, how I've done my orders. Buy, buy, sell this. Uh, limit buy, canceled. Um, and it does have an about section for that, you know, for that stock. It'll tell you everything you want to know. Um, again, still do on your own research. Uh, try to look for what that company sells, what their product lines are. Um, you have your buy and sell options right here. And if you buy, you can go in and you can do different order types. Uh, market buys, which is going to current market value. Uh, limit buys, uh, you know, your stop loss, your stop limit, things like that. Um, also, if you go to sell... And these, these are very important. I suggest that you do a lot of research into what each one of these are before you ever go doing any stock trading, okay? Initially, I would do market buys, market sales. I, You know, it got me for, you know, dollars here, dollars there. And, and then, you know, I just started doing some research and I was like, oh, you know, limit buy, limit sales, stop losses, very important features to really know and understand when you go to stock trade. Especially if you like to do swing trading, you can really set those limits appropriately. And with the right stock, you can you can make quite a, quite a bit of money. Uh, so definitely go through, research that once again. Um, let's close this out. Uh, your graph, I don't trust these graphs. Uh, not, not, you know, a little bit, it kind of gives you a general reference, but they're pretty simple, basic. Don't really give you a lot of information. And, you know, I actually use a platform called TradingView to do all my research. And, you know, I set up candlestick views and I can see oversold, overbought conditions and just general a lot more information. If you would like, I can make a video on how, you know, on using TradingView, how you should kind of set up everything just to, to see the basics of how, you know, uh, of how a stock is doing. Plus, you can see a lot longer than five years out, uh, especially for your your blue chip stocks and things that have been around for 50 years. So, again, uh, these graphs are fairly simple. Uh, they do show you the basics. So you can see a good five year uh you know, trend, things like that, one-year trend. So it does help, but I always suggest going and doing your own research and going to like NASDAQ, really looking at those stocks, anywhere where there's a more reliable source for these graphs. Um, we go back home, and of course you have a watch list here. And as you can see in my watch list, there is a lot of, a lot of stocks in here. And I'm planning to make a video on why these stocks are in here and what I plan to do with them uh, for my next video. So, again, the stock market is unpredictable, guys. Um, and it's considered high risk. So, what you want to do, you know, you want to make sure that you don't invest in a stock without doing all the research uh, that you can Uh with that being said, remember this video is for informational purposes only about how I'm investing or intend to invest. Um, uh, you should invest in holdings uh, based on your own opinion or information uh, and do all of your own research. Uh, get many sources of information. Don't just rely on one. Uh and, you know, I created a learning account just to kind of test uh, this app. And, I, you know, it, it's not a bad idea for you to do. It can help you, you know, learn how to use this app before you really start putting a lot of money in. And, you know, ultimately reducing your risk to lose a substantial amount of money initially.
Well, that's it for this edition of Cloud Thinking. I hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video if you found it informative. Also, please leave comments below with any future video requests or questions that you may have. If you would like to sign up for Robinhood and get a free stock in the process, then you can use my link below. Probably won't be a highly valued stock, but hey, it's free. It's better than nothing, right? Talk to you later, YouTube.